Hey guys, how's it going? So I ended up uh, pulling all the pistons out. I did do a video for that, but I had the camera over in this direction over here and the, the video was just too dark and I couldn't end up using it. So uh, yeah, they're all out right here. Pretty grungy looking. Um, not too sure what I'm going to do with them yet. Probably just get rid of them or something or clean them up. I don't know. But anyways, so they're out and I got all the bolts loose for the main caps and we're just going to pull out the crane or pull the rest of the bolts out now and uh, I'll just set you up here. Okay. on the side here for the main caps are all they're all 10 millimeters all the way around After the next thing I'll probably do is, uh, once I get the crank out of this thing, I'll do like a uh, soak the block down with some degreaser and uh, probably just kind of give it a scrub and blast it with a pressure washer. It's all the side ones there. So these should just come right out now. Um, we got them all loosened off, so you just have to pull them up, I think. So yeah, there she goes. Try to keep these in order. It's not going to go for some reason. Of course, that's why I put it in. She goes. Probably be a little bit stiff. I don't think anything has been touched on the bottom end of this thing. Um, I think that might be just the way the factory stamps those numbers on there. A little bit of a wiggle to get these things out. Huh. 
number two there. the thrust bearing, thrust main. He's just right in there, that one. All right, guys, got all the mains out. I'm just gotta lift the crank right out now. So this is a 24 tooth uh, reluctor wheel on this thing, just in case anybody is wondering. She's out. Yeah, it's just freaking dirty now. So lots of degreaser we're gonna have to buy. And some brushes to start scrubbing it. There's the crank there. The journals don't look too bad. Um, I just don't think that it's possible to use this crank again because the, the reluctor wheel is just, it's just rusted. I don't know if you could, that can be reused. Um, like I said, I'd, I'd like to do another crank in this maybe, maybe a stroker kit or something, but I mean, that's kind of, I'm really jumping the gun talking like that though. But yeah, I don't know if you guys think this crank can be saved, just drop her in the comments and, uh, either that or it's a boat, some kind of a boat anchor maybe. <laughs> That's about it. But I'll show you guys the cylinder walls here. Um, one second. Okay, so I don't know how well you can see that or not, but there's a little bit of rust in there. I mean, they, they're probably going to need a bore, maybe 20 over, 30 over or something. But if it wasn't for that one, they could almost probably get by with just a hone or something like that. But... Uh, I, d I wiped them out there last night after I got the pistons out and uh, they honestly didn't look too too bad but like I said this back one here is a little bit iffy or both these back ones I should say but not like bad bad but like 
like I said, we'll see what the machine shop says once we get to that point. The fronts weren't too bad, but... Alright guys, uh, thanks a lot for hanging in there, and we'll check in the next video. Alright, I just thought I'd show you guys the crank bearings. They don't look all that bad, really. I mean, I just wiped the oil off them. They look pretty decent, still. I mean, I don't know. I don't see any, like, uh, copper or anything, or any uh, major, uh, major wear, I don't think. Not too, too bad.